Hey guys, so I want to do a quick tutorial on rotating a model uh, for visual representation, not necessarily rotating the the model elements, but more for um, more rotating the views and stuff like that, so that you can visually represent or see a model um, for coordinating or whatever the reasons are. Uh, if you want to show a site and how it's actually rotated, then this is this is kind of how you would do that. And the first part is uh, to open up open up a plan view. So it doesn't matter what model you have. Uh, in this example, I just opened up a project and drew some walls and added a door to it so we can see the rotation when it, when it's applied. And this one, if we just open up a level one plan view, we can apply a crop, um, and then we'll need the region visible. And we simply just grab it and then press the RO quick key command or we come up here and do the rotate command button. And then we can rotate it and see that it rotates it. If we create another plan, or you know what, if we just open up a 3D, I'm going to press WT, do a window tile. We can come up here. And see when we do this command, then nothing happens to this model. So it, nothing happens to the original location of the model. This is just so that we can visually see it. And we can take a plan like that and then open up a sheet. And we can actually grab it and place it on there. And it's going to give you that rotation for that. And you can also get into it and rotate it from here as well so play around with it and see you know what best works for you another cool thing is is if we get into this I'm gonna create a new floor plan so up here on the view tab I'll, I'll just quickly press the plan view button on the crate panel and I'll uncheck the duplicates click this level one press OK and then I got another another um, plan view I'll close this one I'll, I'll maximize this one and what I'll do is I'll draw a scope box grab it and then I can Just gonna call it scope box. You can give it specific names if you have a number of scope boxes throughout the project, and you can actually rotate it right now. Here's the rotation. Rotate it, and when you apply the scope box to the actual view, it, it it'll give it its its um rotation. So you saw there it rotated it, and. <sighs> One thing is, is if, because it, as soon as you place it and then rotate it, it's going to rotate from that point. So before you draw it, make sure you have it the way that you want, because as soon as you place it and rotate it, it's going to rotate the, the, uh, the visuals of it. So you can rotate it and then you reapply it again. And then you got your rotation. You see that you can't necessarily rotate. You can rotate this, but it's not going to do anything. I kind of move it around on the screen. But um, you can come to this view, kind of get an idea of the rotations and stuff. So grab your, your scope box and then just grab this rotation tool kind of rotating to see what you 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 get <clears throat> you can then open up a sheet and place that view and it has the rotation that that you've given it within the the plan view you can also do a rotate plan north and if you open up, let's do another new plan. So we'll do a floor plan. We'll move the duplicates, level one. Okay. We'll maximize it. I'm going to do a control H real quick just to hide that. 
scope box. And if we come up here to the manage tab, you can see over here <coughs> we have some options. And we have position. Before we rotate true north, we actually have to change the ori orientation of this, this plan to a true north because if we rotated it right now, it would actually be rotating the project north. And generally, the project north is set up when you begin a project because it's going to be the primary, the pretty much the primary uh, working view that you're going to be doing on your work in it and, and the, the visual representation of the building um, direction. That's kind of what's going to be set up within the project north. And then in the true north, it would be something that we would represent on a site plan or whatnot. But if we came over to the orientation uh, button, we can actually do a drop down and change it to true north. And you can see I've already rotated it. And if we come to the position, we can move this around. And we can do that to do a place. We can press this to do the default, which is the original location. We can grab the little circle and move it that way. And then we can just do a simply rotate, and it rotates it that way. And it only applies it to these true north uh, views. So we can, for example, uh, open up this sheet view and grab this true north you can see that's the location that we just had given it I'm going to close these other views WT for window tile and <coughs> we can see the true north is is this one we can actually grab it and then see that the orientation is true north we can set it to project north and now it's going to reapply that uh, the project north original location of the building to that view so it's a quick way to kind of go back and forth to, to the project and the working views to an actual true north location of your building so that's one way to rotate it I would, I would recommend using that to actually rotate it to an, a true north of the building so that you can use it for sites and different things like that um, it, it could be you know a quick way to get in there and just rotate it so you can visually you know see what it looks like and mess with it but really it's whatever works for you so I hope this helps you know just keep in mind there's there's multiple ways of, of doing something each has their their reasons for doing it um, that way and each one has a, a, a workflow that goes along with it and you know is applied to the projects and stuff so try them see see how they all work um, see what areas um, they can be applied to and how you know in different workflows and stuff like that and do let me know if this video helped you and I really appreciate you watching thanks a lot